something. <laughs> Fuck, what's going on? Dusty and shiny. <sighs> Hello, family. How are you doing? I'll be tuning in tonight for me getting my nails on. My nose is itching like I've been digging and scratching all day. Hello, everybody. How are we down today? Salina is puppy face, makeup by Tatiana, Pumaya, Ashley Martin, Kayla's, Roy, Chichi, Lauren, Jennifer, Paige, JB, Annabelle, Helen, Maria, Zodia, Sharon, Tammy, Ari, Chica, Susanna, Maria, Louisiana, I'm just making up shit now because I can't do it. <laughs> Veronica. Hey, everybody. Paris, Paris. P class, Tamika, Aaron, Keith, Mamas, Mojitas, Shannon, Sharon. Getting my nails done. Hi. I'm going, um, These little ass eyelashes. Hi, Jim. Falling off already. Really, really, Holy Davis, Tina, Christina. I'm, I've been working, y'all. Y'all know I came back. I went to. Was that ketchup on the time of it? I think so. I've been <laughs> looking at that. I've I've been. Um, hello from Kentucky. I did somebody from Kentucky today, too. Um, y'all know I came back from a nail tour. Mm. I tried to make a monk bang, got an argument around me. Y'all dragged me through the comments. Uh, then I took the kids to the carnival, and then I've been at work for the past two days. So I've been killing it. If y'all are not on my Snapchat or my Instagram story, uh, bitch, been killing it. I've been doing the nail, you know, tax season, honey. Everybody get the money back. So they need to come into the nail salon, and we do very good nail for them, you know? So yeah i do for you so you want me honey i'm sorry y'all but la class um nails is already um completely booked i can i'm a human i can only do but so much so la is completely booked uh for nail appointments and you know what i didn't even post it on my main page i posted on my youtube not my youtube my snapchat and my nail page and the shit was booked out in one day so I'm sorry, I will be back, but you know, LA is where it's at because then nobody when their motherfucking nails done in Miami. But LA is definitely mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Hello, Melissa. Hello. Hello, Nam. Um, y'all. Yeah. So I need to go, y'all, to go defend me on my last video. <laughs> <laughs> Because y'all talking about y'all, oh, poor Remy. She's so mean to him. He gonna leave you first off. Y'all don't know how Remy fucking with me, okay? Remy is a very, 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 he know what he's doing, okay? He, this man been with me for 10 years. He know how to push my button. He waited until I pushed record for my monk bang for him to, to start that shit. He knew it too, and he knew. And I did a really good job, actually. For all y'all going in on me and shit like that, I actually did a very motherfucking good job, okay? If that was me about, let's say, eight. eight years ago with him, I'd have been fucking running him down with a car, throwing all his shit out the motherfucking window. And that was only a level one of me going off. So for y'all who think one. I was fucking going wild, that was, Ming, tell them what level was that? That was level zero, okay? <laughs> that ain't even one yet. Like, yeah, it's ripping. Damn. I knew the camera was rolling, so I was trying to control myself. That was really, really hard. And he knew, he knew that he was fucking getting under my button. Mm, 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 mm. I swear to God, because he knew the camera came on. Y'all didn't peep how he waited for the camera to come on till I started recoming, recording, and he come downstairs and say something? The kids, the kids already know what it is. Listen, okay, my kids is just like, okay, mommy. <laughs> they sat there and was like, okay. Juice is over here. I know math. Right. <laughs> but y'all was dragging me, okay? Y'all was dragging me in the comments, like, chill. Okay, remember? But if y'all feel like he deserved better and y'all want to take care of him, I will put that motherfucker in a box. And what is your PO box, sis? Because I. Uh, he already called me. See, the thing was, he already called me. He already talked to me about it. And then he um, wanted to annoy me again. 
Where are my edges going? Bitch, they are going with the wigs. Like, <laughs> they're going with the fucking wigs. That's where my fucking edges are going. They are gone. Ming Nuba is pretty, but she has her garment and her stuff and stuff on. No, she's actually sitting on a, a pillow. So, um, yeah, she's sitting on a pillow. It's, a, it's a, her butt pillow, so it's actually on her thighs. So she's sitting on her thighs, and her butt is hanging off the thighs. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. So you see the pillow? So she's the pillow has these curves, and her thighs are on it, so her butt cheeks are hanging off. So she's not directly on her butt crack. Let me see. Um... um Trejaya, Um, yay! Are you gonna take my at least? You're gonna take my Charlotte class. I'm excited for you guys. I got a lot of really good uh, feedback from my Miami class. Um, one of the uh, actually one of the Spanish girl in class. She said that she took her, she has taken many other people classes, and it wasn't as um, helpful. And my class was very helpful. So that made me feel really sweet. You know, very. You know, I might get frustrated. And I'd be like, use your eyes. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm trying to teach you, but you got to help me be able to teach you. You have to listen. Yes, Ming did fall down the stairs, but she is okay. <laughs> she had a fucking soggy ass sandals on. I'm going <laughs> to give her some of my sandals. You're waiting for my book. Thank you, Chelsea, for ordering my book. Make sure you take a picture and send it to my Instagram mm -hmm. DM, and I will Please repost it. Thank if y'all see me, if me uh, any of this tour, um, make sure y'all for purchase of a book on YouTube Live. Um, I post you on my Insta story, y'all. I was on. I, you know, I'm a hustler. I was drunk as hell, but I was on. I was on the strip. Um, I was on the uh, uh, the Southeast Strip, and I was like, I got books for sale. I got books for sale. I was like, for a purchase of my book for only twenty five dollars, you get a free. Sh you it comes with a shout out on my Insta girl Insta story. So you know, people always buy it, even if shit. An Insta story shout out costs way more than twenty five dollars. So shit, buy that book, bitch. Support me. My nose is itching. That picture, you like that? That's a brat store. Um, yep, it's a little chalk over here. You know, glitter, glitter, glitter. It's late, but, um, Ming, but it's great. Okay. So, I decided, I was like, let me, let me go on YouTube Live, you know. I need to... Yes, the book, the book. It's the link is in my bio on my Instagram. If you don't know my Instagram, it's the same thing as my YouTube. It's lovely, Mimi, I-T-S-L-O-V-E-L-Y-M-I-M-I. Yeah, this nail shop uh, is in Onat, uh, Decatur. It's on Memorial Drive. It's right next to the Decap Jail. <laughs> My other shop is on O National, which is right there by the discount mall by the airport. And then my other shop in Maryland is um, in Capitol Heights, Maryland. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that you had a terrible experience last year. Maybe if you come again. But, you know, we don't really specialize in pedicure for real. Like, if you want something nice and fancy and diamonds and stuff like that, like, that's where you're really going to be satisfied at. Um, I need to floss my teeth. <laughs> Girl, y'all, y'all know I don't pay attention to y'all. Y'all can say whatever y'all want, but I'm letting y'all know now that i did really good the other day in that argument <laughs> and if y'all think that was mean oh you don't know what fucking mean is you don't know what crazy mimi is but that shit was a level fucking zero because i could have really went the fuck off because he know what he's doing trust me i don't abuse my husband like do you really think i abuse remy no i take good care of remy why do you think he's been with me for 10 years okay but he know he know how he know how to play. He know how to like. You see, the thing with Remy is he know how to compose and and chill out and act. You know, like if we get in a fight like behind closed doors, like he'll say all the fucked up shit to me, right? And as soon as somebody come, he know how to turn it off and be like, oh, I don't know what's going on. She's just so crazy. You know what I'm saying? He know how to like act and like pretend like he didn't do anything and play victim and i'm like oh i apologize he didn't mean that apology like he knew and he know that i don't know how to control myself and go the fuck off 
you know but i really didn't go that off because if i really wanted to i could have threw that whole fucking plate at him including all the fucking cucumbers <laughs> and i can did a lot of shit you know like i used to but i have matured a lot um hell yeah I could throw a lot of shit. I'm talking about, I used to throw a lot of shit. I used to throw everything out the motherfucking house. And Remy used to fucking follow me with a camera. Talking about, oh, look at this crazy bitch. Like, no, motherfucker, stop getting on my nerves. But I have matured a lot. Okay. What was the worst thing I threw? I've thrown a bike. I've <laughs> <laughs> thrown one of the kids' bike on my husband. I've thrown chairs. I've thrown an AC unit. I can see I've you thrown picking up a bike. <laughs> I threw a whole fucking bike at him. Yeah. What was the. What? He used to throw. What? Remy pushed me in the bushes one time. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> hey yo, what was it? He he fucking he spat on my motherfucking car, right? So I'm on my way. Right? We what? gotta fight. Uh, he spit. Yeah, he spit on my car. He said spat. I was like, what the fuck is spat? that? <laughs> spat isn't pa spat the past tense of spit. No. <laughs> no. Spat <laughs> isn't a past tense of spit. Anyway, but that motherfucker, like, we was at arguing. This is like, this is like eight years ago, right? So we were arguing, and this motherfucker, this motherfucker spat on my car. I feel like spat it. makes sense. He spit it, he spit it on my car, right? He spit it on my motherfucking window, and he didn't spit on me. But the fact that bitch, you still spat on my motherfucking window, right? Spat is that is correct. They say yeah. it is spat. Yeah, spat I don't know y'all get away. So he he spat it on my motherfucking car window, and I was like, oh no, he did it right. So so, and this is when he first got his little Range Rover, right? And he was so impressed with his little Range Rover. So he first got his Range Rover, right? I was like, oh this motherfucker. He spat on my car and then he ran back in the house. This is an old, old house back in Lanham. So I was like, oh you little bitch, right? So <laughs> I went to his car and I opened up. I opened up his uh. He, he just got his Range Rover. I opened up all the fucking doors, right? And I went to the front of the house and I picked up all the mulch. <laughs> I picked up all the mulch from the front of the house and I threw mulch all in the car. So my little short ass is just like two hands. I'm like grabbing mulch from the ground. I'm picking it up. I'm throwing it all in the motherfucking, um, all in the Range Rover. So he came out and he was like, he was so mad. He was like, you fucking bitch, you fucking threw mulch on the fucking car. <laughs> and he pushed me, and he pushed me, and I fell in the fucking bushes, right? Mm -hmm. The fucking, the bushes, the you know, the, the, the square rectangular bushes that have the little pink flowers? So he fucking pushed me in the bushes, and my fat ass left a whole dent in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can tell somebody fell in the fucking bushes. It was just a whole thing in the bushes. Then, then... So then, um, I don't know, somehow I pulled off. I went to work, and he called me, and he, this is when I was like, you know, I, I love Nicki Minaj, just like 10 years ago when Nicki first came out. So he gonna fucking call me and play the fucking, the, the one, the little ad lib of Nicki on the phone, the, I win, you lose. Ah! <laughs> He's so petty. Okay, Remy is fucking Petty, I'm telling y'all, don't think he's innocent because he wait till them cameras come on to fucking put me in a position where he know that I can't control myself. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that shit was fucking funny. Like, I remember him coming home and looking at the bushes like, <laughs> damn, like my fat ass. My fat ass. <laughs> Look at that fat ass dent. Like, my bushes yeah. were fucked up for a while because now the branches had to grow back. <laughs> oh my God. I would have been dying, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, mulches, the motherfucking mulches. So I went to work smelling all horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, yeah, I look like a mad fucking crazy woman just picking up mulch and throwing that shit in the car. Don't fucking think about Remy is fucking crazy. And he's still with me. That makes him even more fucking crazy. So if he sits there and he be like, if he be telling y'all, Oh, she's so crazy and she's so abusive to me and she treat me like this. Don't, don't fucking believe him because if it was that bad, he would still not be with me. That motherfucker is still with me 10 years later and he's, he's a fucking asshole, okay? <laughs> asshole. Me when he said he does, he does like stuff to piss you off. Like he disappeared for like 
girl like i'm gonna tell you like we was on the beach like we're sitting we're eating so he disappeared and we're looking for him and we have to catch the boat this motherfucker just walks off it's like y'all have to hold on to remy's hand he's like one of them special kids like you just have you know how like them white parents put the uh, leash on their book bag to the kids and like oh my yeah. God. <laughs> so the kid don't run off anywhere like you have to put one of them book bags on remy because he would just go disappearing like then he comes back while we're all looking for him, calling him to tell him, I'm on the phone with my mom. <laughs> on vacation? While we're trying to rush to get on the yacht? Like, what are you even talking about? Like, you, your mom lives with us now. Like, what, what, what are you even talking about? Are you even, like, are you drunk? Like, what is there possibly to talk about? We're lit. We're lit as fuck right now. We're in Miami. And you're, you said, you're on the phone. Steady's just on the phone, so it's walking away from me. It's only you. Motherfucker is crazy. Oh, look, I'm getting pink. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I know I love pink. Has Remy ever cheated on me? Um, I don't have completely full evidence if he ever cheated on me. Um, I haven't had a confession. And I don't have evidence. Um of him cheating on me do i believe that he has deep down hell the fuck yeah i believe he did i know he emotionally cheated on me um but i don't have fucking proof and he won't admit it and if he did he's clearly taking that shit to the grave or maybe he is just he cared uh no to Trey Jaya. No, that motherfucker hasn't upgraded on my ring. I made a big fuss about it on Christmas, and supposedly he got it, but he's not trying to give it to me until our anniversary. But he's in and out. Um, our anniversary is 420, so it's coming up, y'all. And my birthday is coming up April 24th. Yes, I will have more kids, but not right now. Mm -mm. Yup. Little juice. <laughs> yeah, little juice that is crazy. <laughs> of course, I love him, but he's just fucking an asshole. <laughs> he's just special. He should be fucking plucking my buttons. I be telling you, I be like, I be like, yo, you be pushing my button. He like, you're a human, you have buttons, just the fuck I do. Have you ever watched that one video? Uh, where we answer the questions and the answers? Oh my God. Go back to the questions and answer with me and Remy, and we talked about um, our one fight about fucking sour cream. I show y'all my garden grill. Oh, we don't smoke. Um, we actually got married on 420 because it was Easter Sunday, but it just happened to be 420, and all of my bridesmaids and groomsmen were high. But we don't smoke. We'd make me and Remy slow. We'd make me slow and paranoid, and we'd make Remy start doing push up. Every time Remy get high, he'll fucking take off his shirt and start doing push up. Oh, hell no. <laughs> and it was like walking in circles. <laughs> uh. Would I stay with him? Um, if he ever, I don't know. Like, I, I think cheat, like, I can deal with a lot of stuff, like, but I don't think cheating I can deal with because you don't really have to because I, I like girls, so I don't really think you have to cheat. And it's actually really hard for him to cheat. Like, he wouldn't be able to get away with stuff because everybody knows me and they know his face and they can take a picture of him and it would ruin his whole life and you would never hear the ending of me. Um. I took all the perks. Ming, you got some more perks? No, but I can get some. Mm, there you go. And perks really works. Perks really works. Because I got the Kybella off the perks. <laughs> and I really sat still. Um, ba -ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. No, Remy is not the father of my kid. My, my, Javon. Javon has a separate father. But he's raised Javon since Javon was one. So Javon calls him dad. Um... How do I feel with people talking shit about my parents? And I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm a great mother. My kids is fresh. My kids stay nice. Um, they're spoiled. They're fed. Um, they're cool. They're smart. She's is on the road student. Um, and Javon gets along with every kid. So I think I have great parenting skills. So, and I give them everything that I never had because I didn't have a lot. You know, I grew up really, really, really poor. So y'all can read more about my past uh, in my book. Uh, my titties never hurt. I don't know. I never had any downtown 
downtime like i've been fucking walking around like nothing happened if you even watch the vlog my titties has just been no problem so here they are they're kind of popping out of the sports bra they're starting to hurt now i think the drugs are wearing off and the percocets are wearing off so i need some more um how do you feel about step parenting i think i'm a fucking great stepmother um i wish i had a i wish my kid had a stepmother like me because i would totally love her I think I'm a great fucking stepmom. <laughs> I get you what you want. I'm one of those. I work a lot, so I don't have a lot of time for nurturing and stuff like that. So I will spoil the hell out of you. So I get, I spoil my kids. Um, uh, she can't show you all her booty right now because she's doing my nails. So y'all need a motherfucking wait. Um, I can't, says, Liz, I can't read the motherfucking stuff in H Mart either. That's Korean. Vietnamese, actually, we have ABCs because we were taken over for the, from the French. So, yep. Uh, what advice do I have people, uh, what advice would you give people who can't have kids? Um, well, you know, kid, you know, kid, kid's older, kid, kid doesn't have kids. Um, and what I've, I never really thought about an advice. But my mom came, and my mom actually did give a very, very sweet advice. Uh, my mom told Kit uh, to, to love my kids, you know. My, my kids spend a lot of time with Kit, and my mother said, Kit, you, you take care, baby. Later, baby, take care of you. <laughs> so my mom said to, you know, to Kit, you know, you know, love my kids and, you know, Stay close because when she get older and she don't have kids, at least my kids will be there to take care of her. So I think that's a really good advice to have. Like if you don't have kids, if you have nieces or, you know, any family member that you are close with that is a child, you know, be close to them. Be that aunt, be be that awesome adult that they want in their life so that when you get older and you don't have kids, <laughs> they can take care of you. <laughs> no that day. What? what? On that day when we was leaving out and I didn't hear you say don't leave me. And I out, you ran to the car. You said because somebody might rob me. Oh, oh, sorry, no, here. Hell yeah, don't fucking leave me, bitch. <laughs> Are you like Polo? I said, bitch, wait for me. I didn't even hear you though. Uh, what's the next makeup tutorial? I don't even. I, Makeup. Actually, my makeup is getting better. What you think, man? Mm -hmm. My makeup is really getting better. Like I've been sitting there doing something, something. Uh, uh, That's why I need. You need help me with my YouTube. Everybody keeps telling me to fucking make a YouTube. Sure, make a YouTube. Why not? I just need help with that. I don't know what that is. Girl, I'll show you. I'll show everybody how to make a YouTube. Don't I? Mm -hmm. uh nail certification class no you just get i, I do give y'all a little cert certificate that you completed my class but i am not a state board teacher i cannot give you um you know for you to go take your state board class because you have to get your hours i my 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 classes are only to perfect your skills <clears throat> are three some as husband and wife, what do you mean advisable what what, what does that mean um, we need a nail play date. Well, thank you. Um, yes, I need to, I'm getting my makeup done tomorrow. I'm getting, see, y'all see how I look at the class, look fabulous. And this is how I look when I come home and go to fucking work. I look mm -hmm. like shit. I look like an oily fucking grease monkey. And I had to take a doo-doo so bad. That was my last time wiping my ass with them little fingers. Yeah. I couldn't wait to get my nails back on. Um, I have three. Ming is doing great. Um, look, I really wish I had the time to cook like I'm used to, but like I just came back and I literally just came back, okay, from Miami. I got back from Miami. When did I get back? Monday? Mm -hmm. I got back Monday. Tuesday, I fucking slept because I was tired and I did some grocery shopping. Um, at eight, I, I took care of business. Wednesday, I took, I, I tried to make a mung bang for you and then Remy had to get on my fucking nerve and we ended up getting an argument that I still posted for y'all. And then Wednesday, I took the kids to the carnival. And then Thursday, I went to work at Old National in the other shop. Today, I went to work here. Today, I'm going to work. Tomorrow, I'm going to work here again. To Saturday, which is tomorrow night, I have a booking after work. So 
right after work at eight o'clock i have to uh get my hair and makeup done and which is another youtuber that's coming to do my hair and makeup it's actually armand and trey's sister she's coming to do my hair and makeup tomorrow for her youtube after work and then i have to go to a club i got a club hosting at gold room tomorrow night and right after the club hosting i have to go straight to the airport catch a flight to go to la to teach my la class this weekend too much yeah so i have a fucking busy weekend this week um you think my, my cabela can still go down a little bit more so, uh, yeah, I have a fucking busy ass fucking weekend. And then Monday, I'm doing nails all day. I have a whole book schedule from 10 to 10 on Monday in LA after class. And then I'm coming back home Tuesday. So, Tuesday, back to work. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, go to Albany. So, every weekend, I am going to, um, I am going to be in a different state. Stay busy. And then... My birthday is coming up. I want to be in Detroit for my birthday. What is there to do in Detroit, you guys? What is there to do in Detroit? Because I'm coming to Detroit for my birthday because I have a class out there. Uh, my nail set starts at $60, you guys. You know, if you come into Atlanta, when I'm out of town, I charge a lot more. Um, yep. <laughs> so I'm a very busy busy lady y'all busy 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 um what were we talking about oh yeah so this nail tour and then April and then May I start wilding around again and then I will come back to my tour and I will make sure I go to the DMV and do one here are you going to be in the DMV in June? Yeah. Well, normally Remy goes to stuff with me. And it's like, I feel like he had an attitude because he, he wasn't going to L.A. So that's why he started that fucking argument online. But then, again, before I asked him to go to fucking Miami, he told me don't, don't ask him to go nowhere no more. So, the fuck? If you tell me something, I'm going to take this shit serious. I'm going to tell him to go back and forth and argue with you. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm at the fucking age. I've been with this man for so long. Like I'm not going to keep arguing with you. But if you really try to fucking piss me off, then it's on. Yeah, Donnie said, yeah, we said, yeah, but it was like, he's the one that told me to don't ask him to go on these trips with him. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fucking ask you no more. Like, you don't have a fucking attitude about it. Make it you damn right I'm not going to ask you because you don't fucking help me with shit anyways. So then he was like, how is it about it? So Remy's fucking bipolar. He can't fucking make up his mind what he, the hell he want to do. But I'll probably take him to Detroit with me because, you know. Yes, so annoying. Like, what the fuck do you want? And then you're going to start shit with me. Um, my favorite cack sauce is Capique. You know what? And I need to eat some because I haven't eaten none in a while. Oh, that's the backstory. Yeah, that's the backstory. <laughs> no, I'm only gone for two days. Yeah, act like I'm gone for a long. I'm only gone for two days. And I come back home. It's just Sunday class, Monday do nails, and right back home. It's not that serious. And it's and you know it costs money to um, buy extra ticket because you know I gotta buy uh, Asia, which is my assistant that put up put the tour together. So you know she's the one that's answering all the calls, contacting salons, doing the dates, doing the time, doing the deposits. She's taking care of everything, the flights, the Airbnb. She's the one to put all the tours together. So she has to come with me. So you know I have to pay her, I have to pay for her flight, uh for her Airbnb and you know cover her expenses. So if I cover her expenses and his expenses, that's way too much. I'm not going to see a profit. I'll be doing this shit for no motherfucking reason. So you know and it's not like he's going to fucking help me. So I can just hire a fucking security out there or borrow somebody's gun. Bop, 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 bop. Why would you? Uh, yeah, of course. Look, we've been together for a long time, okay? What? Y'all so fucking pressing in the comments. Like, damn, do y'all want him? Because I will put him in a box right now. And I will fucking ship his annoying ass to you. <laughs> you can come have him. Shit, take him. <laughs> take his tall ass. 
I should put his fucking ass in a fucking box instead of. <laughs> you gotta find a big ass box. Ass, uh, Junebug, Junebug, Junebug. I think Junebug is coming out Saturday. Junebug got two jobs. That's a hardworking woman. She deserves a good man too. I love Junebug. She's so sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. She's been around for a while too. She's so cute. No, he's a Libra. Um. How do I feel about gay marriage? Do whatever you like, honey. You like what you like. You do what you do. I never understood about how human can get in other human business and tell what another human can do or cannot do. Like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> I don't think what y'all understood, but I mean leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. Like, leave me the hell alone. They leave people alone. If people want to have gay marriage, people have gay marriage. If people want to have abortions, they have abortions. I just never understood how another human can tell another human what they can do or not do. I'd have to dilute that with clear, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I was taking freaking food. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, have kids right now. I'm waiting. Uh, I have bling on my teeth. Y'all can come get it done in my shop. Um. Not even a free country. It's just a free life. Like, this is my blood that I bleed. This is my soul that I live. Um, this is my life. This is this is mine. It's not yours. Not hers. Not his. Not the government's. Not anybody else's fucking vessel. Bones. This is my fucking life. So let me do what I want to do. Yep. Mexico, y'all not gonna know I can't go to Mexico. <laughs> I'm never coming back. Ming, did you get the right to say you love, did you, do you love your results? I really love my results. Got She's people. gonna tell y'all. She's gonna show y'all as soon as she can take this fucking fall haul off. Actually, she be taking it off of her live, so y'all need to follow her Instagram. I slay by Ming, and she will show y'all her butt. I always go on live and show my body. Mm -hmm. You really wanna see? Go join my live. Stay tuned. Yo. I can't wait to fucking go out. I swear to God. All right, Kimberly. What do y'all want me to say? I have nothing to say. I have nothing good to say. I have nothing bad to say. I'd rather just not talk about it. I mean, it's over. Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bother nobody. I don't. I don't do anything. Like, just leave me alone. Who's pregnant? What? Ming Ming is on my page, on my Instagram. Uh, yeah, me and Ming and Vietnamese, we both speak it too. Um, yeah, I have a license for nail, but you don't need a license for nail to actually own it, own a nail shop. You can just get a business license. No, I'm not pregnant. Fuck no. Um, I like to travel with Remy. I want Remy to go, but he told me that he don't want to fucking go with me no more. So that's why I didn't fucking let him go. And now he feels some type of way. Like, make up your mind. Do you want to go or you don't want to go? I love going with my husband everywhere. We're best friends. He's been with me for fucking 10 years. We go everywhere together. But he's been fucking tripping me. Hey, Crystal. You are late. Welcome. We've been talking about... Uh, me and Remy's argument and all our fights and uh, stuff like that. Hey, Marie. My lip dries, motherfucker. Oh, thank you. I'm glad y'all enjoyed my... I, I feel like, you know, I really enjoyed the 85 Soft Show, too. Like, you know, I got to be myself and actually just talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get them done. <laughs> uh, now, my... <laughs> His pinky is like below the fuck out of me. He in the ring. Is it a huge profit? No, Jennifer, it's not a huge profit. Why do you think I work in the nail salon? If you don't do nails and work in a nail salon, it's not a big profit. No, Ming uh, parents are half black. Each of her parents are half black, so it makes her half black. Because one fourth, I mean, one half, it's one fourth. I don't know. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Hey, you trying to do the bad. Hey, <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. You know, um, actually, they asked me to come back, so I, I should be coming to do another one show with them. 
You know, oh, 85 South Show. Uh, Ming's recovery is great, fantastic. No, Joseph, do you not know that I'm married with children, Joseph? Spuff on, come out of nowhere. Are you single? Where the fuck is it say I'm single? Like, if you don't know right now, let me pop this shit up. So you gonna take my phone off the charger? Huh? Oh, my neck looks big. So you gonna take my phone off the charger though? I never, my phone been on the charger. What are you talking my about? My phone is charging. Oh. On here. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, you fancy, huh? I didn't know you had that. Yeah. Put that charging. Yeah. Let me fix my titties. Look at my titties, y'all. Bam! You just look big as shit. They are big. Now I gotta put deodorant in here because this bitch got dust all in from nails oh today. Oh, oh, did they put a bigger size? Yeah, it's bigger now. It's fucking 650 cc. I don't know what that is. Okay. Maryland. I probably come to Maryland and other places y'all looking for. Um, after the summertime. Uh, yeah, you can go to my sister and her sister. Actually, my Ming sister worked with my sister at the other shop. Her sister is a little bit out of commission right now for a little bit. Um, but, yeah, our sister works together. It's like the Trey sisters. Gabriella. Y'all keep asking me about Lisa. Like, I don't know oh, what man. to say to y'all. Like, it's so irritating. Like, y'all literally stalk me everywhere. So, y'all ask me on Instagram. Lisa doesn't work for me anymore, okay? I first met I first met Lisa when y'all first met Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> we met Lisa together, okay? When I started my YouTube in January, that's when I met Lisa and you met Lisa, okay? We met Lisa together, okay? And then we stopped meeting Lisa together, okay? Okay? I don't know what else you want to fuck to say. Lisa doesn't work at the shop anymore. She had some life complications and, you know, people come and go out of my salon. You know, people work and people come and go. She just left. She's gone. So, stop fucking asking me about fucking Lisa. I don't know what else to say about Lisa. Lisa is fucking gone. She came and go. When y'all met her in fucking April, that's when I met her, okay? We met her together. She she was, I don't have no Vietnamese family out here. And Lisa was half, I mean, part Vietnamese. Even though she didn't speak it, but, you know, we actually enjoyed each other's company and ate together. And we did a lot of monk bangs together. And she spent a lot of time with me and then she had life complications and her life complication you know pulled her away so she's fucking gone <laughs> and that's just another chapter of my life and we're gonna have way more chapter of lives together i've been through a lot of people a lot of people in and out of the shop and um y'all just got close with lisa because we spent a lot of time eating Vietnamese food but hey i don't I don't have nothing bad to say about her. I don't have nothing good to say about her, but it is what it is. I don't talk to Lisa anymore and she doesn't work at the shop anymore. So, bye Lisa. Now we have Ming, right. <laughs> who got her butt done and look at the shop. There's a lot of people in the shop. I've been in and out of like probably, probably a good 60 girls that's been in and out of my shop for the past two years. So people come in and out of my life all the time. We just really had, um, you know, me and Lisa really did bond really fast. You know, when y'all met her is when I met her. And now she's gone. So that's fucking it. <laughs> I don't know what else y'all want me to fucking say. Like, I don't know what else to say about the fucking girl. <laughs> you know, she fucking, she does her own thing. You know, she, you can watch on her YouTube. You can watch her on um, a fucking page, but mm -hmm. um, I wonder, do they be asking her? As much yeah, because y'all be asking Connie too. Like, like I'm so it's it's so crazy how a person that I I only knew for a period of time, not even a year, because I I started hanging with Lisa in like April, May, like about this time last year. So not even a year, I started hanging with her, and I started making YouTube. But it's so crazy how how y'all like connect her to me so fucking strong even though i put her on a lot of my on my youtube video 
But damn, like, I can't get a fucking break. Like, y'all go on Connie's page looking for her. Y'all go on Ming page looking for her. And Ming's like, I don't know her. <laughs> I'm not her friend. I don't fucking know her. <laughs> Lisa came and, you know, shit. She, 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 she grew. She grew a part of Ultraviolet. She progressed. She made her money. She got better at nails. She learned techniques. She made YouTube. She... She learned a lot, and now she's, I guess, whatever, growing out in her life. So leave us the fuck alone, okay? Don't ask her. <laughs> leave us the goddamn, leave us the fuck alone, okay? <laughs> Everybody, I know, it's my fault. I fucking, I put Lisa in every fucking video, okay? We ate together. Goddamn, Kit is still here. Kit will always be my side. This Kit is, person is this, and Kit is my ride and die. So Kit is always going to be around, okay? But damn, don't ask me no more about fucking Lisa. So if somebody else asks, send them this fucking video. <laughs> uh, these are extensions, but they're like falling off already. When am I going to complete my... Look, I don't even like tattoos, okay? I don't even know. Is this supposed to be a fucking sleeve? Like, I have patches of fucking... Uh, patches of fucking tattoos. Um... Sacramento? I don't know. I'm coming to LA. That's not close. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Kristen, say hey, Bing. Hey. Come to Chicago. Okay. Windy City. I think, am I coming to Chicago? Oh, Kit has some good news to tell y'all, but I'll wait till y'all uh, get to see Kit. Um, yeah. Kit, Kit's loyal. Kit's a little cuckoo, but you know, we love Kit. If you actually go back and watch like the first video of Kit, like when I first gave her that makeover and stuff like that, she went on a blind date. Uh, dang. And then we got Kit on Christmas when I got her gift and she was drunk and she was hiding from me. Um, no, my, 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 uh, my titties didn't hurt at all. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, what else? 10 hours? Damn, Callie's big. Too bad. Uh, let's see. New Zealand? I, but I don't even know. Natalie, I don't even know where New Zealand's at. Like, that sounds like somewhere Trump is not going to let me come back from. <laughs> you Do I need a sister wife? It depends on how you look, baby. If you cook, if you clean. Um, you know, what you come with. That, then you can talk. <laughs> Uh, I don't even hear you for two minutes. My mom wants to know where your you got your cutting board. I got that shit from I think like Ross and TJ Maxx. I love those places like Ross and TJ Maxx and stuff and Marshalls. I love it. Ross TJ Maxx. <laughs> Why you gotta say no with me actually? Yeah, my D home deep hole, how me, my D low. <laughs> my D to giant. Giant, mm, giant. They way. It's super. Uh, they don't have that here. They have Kroger, and they have uh, uh, Publix. You don't got no Publix. We got Kroger. Uh, we ain't got Seven Eleven. I was mad. What happened? Look, why well, don't know? It's hard, y'all. Like y'all gotta say, like that shit was hard. Like coming up, how to learn how to yell. I'm gonna get better next season. I promise you. It's hard. Like, yeah, learn the game. Like, literally, I had one week of practice. Like, these people on there, they've been there for, like, episodes. I literally had, like, they've been in there for a long time. I literally had one week of practice, and they threw me on the stage. So, fuck, that's what you get, okay? A bitch got to practice. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to keep answering the same question, okay? If y'all want to see Ming ass, go on her fucking live. Uh, uh, follow her page at Slay by Ming, and she's going to show you her fucking ass and in the only process. But the doctor did a great job. The bitch that good. I told her this don't eat no more. <laughs> if she gets fat again, I'm not going through this shit with her again. Hey, <laughs> go back, bitch. You should have tried my drill head. I should have. You would love it. Like at night, I can feel my low. Mm -hmm. I had this done for a long time. Because I was back in the Um, A 
at least I still try. I be trying like shit. That's the thing though. Y'all just that. You pay attention. It's not just me on Wilding Out that's new. Look, pay attention to all those people in the back room. It's a bunch of them. But a lot of people are scared to jump into that mic. It, it's really scary. But I didn't give a fuck. I tried everything when I was on there. If, even if it was stump, eh, eh, I don't give a fuck. I still try. Because I'm still learning the game. One thing I'm not is. But if y'all watch it live show, like my stage present, like I have a good time. But I'm going to get better. So don't give up on me. Because there's a lot of people on there that's been there for like years uh, like a lot of fucking episodes and the they don't get no season. they've been there for like four or five seasons i had no idea they were on there for that season seasons. because they never got no camera time i didn't even know they were on there that fucking long laura are you late we've been talking about me and remy going me going off on remy so you need to rewatch this because i told a lot of funny stories about how that wasn't even bad because i would have fucking threw a lot of other shit at him <laughs> <laughs> me and Remy used to fight like shit. Oh man, I remember this. We've been in jail together for, you know, for other stuff. You gotta read my book. But then we also been in jail for, you know, like, you know, fighting and shit like that. See? I can um, deal with fighting. I've fought every, every, everybody I've been with. Hold on, I gotta watch me. Talk to me. Oh, look at my booty. Look at that booty. That's Fat pussy. Damn, my pockets. Fast Nova. Oh damn, I need to get this back fat. Mm. Yes, the rose coming in. <laughs> oh my god. Honey, come get me. Ow, fuck me. What? You just stabbed yourself? See? I was telling people I'm going to make the inside a little paper. When you want some little nails and I make them shop, I ain't trying to. Mm -mm. You ain't going to come back if you poke your eye out because me. I'm not doing it. Okay, I'm back. Bam! Pink, 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 pink. I it's love pink. Now. Yes, I've been walking around. Thank you. Oh, now you guys want to fucking say nice stuff to me. That me and Rem are great parents and just loving couple. Like, thank you for all the sweet words. Because y'all be going in on me on the motherfucking comments. Motherfucker. Oh, she's such a bitch. She's so fucking mean. She's so evil. Y'all think that don't hurt my fucking feelings? Y'all think that shit don't hurt my fucking feelings? Because it don't. Okay? <laughs> I thought it was funny as shit. I was like, look at him. Oh, poor Remy. Oh, you should treat him so bad. Fuck that shit. That motherfucker is healthy, eating good. Look, living the best life, party life. I get plenty of bitches. That motherfucker, he, what would he do? And cook. I cook. I don't clean, but I cook. I buy you shit. I don't clean. <laughs> Did I paper chase? Did I apologize? Fuck no, I ain't apologize. Fuck you mean to apologize? <laughs> Fuck no. I wasn't fucking wrong. That motherfucker waited until I pressed record on my motherfucking camera to say some shit that he knew was going to piss me off. Y'all did not hear me kept saying, leave me the fuck alone. That means I'm trying my really bestest and my hardest right now not to throw this motherfucking noodles in your fucking face. That's what that fucking meant, okay? <laughs> Corey, you're disgusting. Is he still go We're married. What do you mean? The married people don't use condoms. You're disgusting, weirdo. <laughs> go wrong. You're just fucking gross. You're disgusting. Be proud of being a bitch. I'm a, a wonderful bitch, okay? I'm an amazing bitch. I'm a good loving bitch. I'm a great cooking bitch. And I buy everybody's stuff in the house. And that's what kind of bitch I am, okay? I just don't I just don't have I just don't, who the fuck? I'm not fucking 40. Bitch, I'm 28. Stop fucking playing with me. I ain't even making out my 20s yet. Okay? I just seem old because I got my shit together. Okay? Bitch, she's calling me 40. God damn, 40, bitch. Put your fingers in their head. Oh, man. I'm 40. Yo. <laughs> um. So, people doing nail as long as they have nails. Yes. You can own a shop as long as we have people doing nail. But I'm telling you now, owning a shop does not mean you're going to make money. You need to fucking work to make money. Oh, egg, egg moved out. Egg, um, he he moved out. Funny. Um, where is five? Uh, we stopped talking about a year ago. We mm -hmm. fell off. Um, our friendship was we're just two different people. 
uh, personality wise. So there you go. There goes your answer. So 50 years from now, it's going to be the same answer. Our personality is completely different. So it was just time to stop forcing it. Uh, Kit is somewhere living a happy life. Stephanie, I love it. <laughs> Ming, what's your sign? Gemini. She's Gemini. I'm not really into science. Oh, thank you, Estella. Gracia. I love you too, honey. Okay. I see you soon, okay? You like my little tan? I got a little, little bit tan tan. You see that? You see that? You see little string? I got a little tan. Um, the bling, she got a special on now, 30 for each tooth. Normally, they're like 40 or some shit like that. How do you juggle being a mom, wife, success? I don't fucking know how I do it, but I literally just came back from Miami. Uh then spend time with kids, took them out, then been at work, balance out both shops, because I have to give both of the shop attention or these bitches start going crazy. And then um, I got to host a club Saturday, and right after that, I have to catch a flight to L.A. and do I'm another go. and do nails. <laughs> so I have a lot of shit. I'm trying to go, but I don't know. My body. We're going to do your thumbs together, bitch. My thumb, my elbow. Damn. Huh? My elbow to the yeah. line. See, it's not like this. My thumb actually going to line. I am going. What part? I, I don't. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm fat foot, Nat, Nat, Natalie. Uh, I'm 28. Yes, I am. I've been on my own since I was 16. Y'all need to read my book, okay? So, Elizabeth, say take your profile off. Just follow me. She accept you, and you can go watch her shit. Mm -hmm. Um, family trip to Vietnam. Yes, I'm working on that. I'm saving. I'm saving that. Uh, next Christmas, hopefully. Um, that's what I'm saving up for. Yeah, bitch. I'm back. No more short nails. That shit was killing me. Um, yes, Asia. I'm working on some right now. Actually, with Drummer. He is a really great big time producer. Um, so, it's only getting better and better. Uh, you can buy my book by on Amazon. Or you can click the link in my Bible. And you can uh, purchase a hardcover. Or when you see me, I on these tours i will be selling my books and y'all can buy it and get a shout out on my page um yeah i'm coming to la isn't it california why is everybody saying yeah you coming to california isn't it la california <laughs> it's like according to me all like la is california california is la no mm -hmm. yes heather i need to see what you look like heather stop playing <laughs> Remy said, no, we're not going to be in the hood of L.A. And even was, we'll be fucking fine. Remy was fucking starting shit with me. Do y'all not understand that? Go rewatch the video and realize that he was starting shit with me, okay? Now put yourself in my position, okay? He already called me. He already talked to me about this, okay? And he waited. He purposely waited until the camera started rolling to ask me again. And I, I, I did not hear my cry for help. I kept saying, leave me alone. Because I didn't want to make myself look bad in front of y'all because I'm not really fucking crazy. And I guess saying to leave me the fuck alone <laughs> leave me alone ain't really leave me alone and then y'all come in there and y'all fucking attack me when it was him it was him bitch Jesus <laughs> what the hell how you get powder all around your oh, freaking skin well okay <laughs> yes he was shit y'all don't know him i've been with that motherfucker for 10 years okay oh that's a cute dress that's a little tiny little mannequin thing no kids here kids kids been doing a lot of good stuff for herself she has a big surprise to tell y'all but i'm gonna let her tell y'all when it's time to tell y'all okay but yeah you caught i'm gonna have to pick my stuff <sighs> I want bling. You want bling? No, bitch. Come I'm around. not like you. I don't waste fucking <laughs> product on my own nail. Look, it can be simple, okay? Like, I can't. I sell leave me alone t-shirts. <laughs> leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> leave me the fuck alone! Okay? Can you close these damn fingers together? <laughs> too close. I'm trying to adjust these.
I did have to link my merch, but it wasn't going well. So, <laughs> fuck y'all, okay? Y'all, the fuck y'all, don't try to be my fucking friend now because none of y'all bitches had my fucking back in the fucking comments when y'all knew he was the one fucking with me. Y'all want to call me all types of fucking, I fucked up. Leave me alone! Okay? Leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> Bitch, your flash bright. <laughs> fucking thing. Don't move. I'm not done. I did. Amanda, thanks, bitch. You better have my back. That motherfucker was fucking me. Okay? He knew. He knew it, too. That's why. You see how calmly he apologized to make himself look good? Like, I'm sorry, Juice. Like, that motherfucker knew what he was doing. He knew y'all was going to fall for it. And guess what? Y'all fell for it. Every single one of y'all bitches fell for it. Y'all fucking fell for it. Like, oh, oh my God, he's so sweet. I wish I could find a man like that. Look how he apologized and she still came back. He's fucking faking. He knew it. He knew y'all was going to fall for that trap. He knew it. And y'all got that suspension. Y'all fell for it. Y'all like, oh, I want a man that's going to apologize. You think he gonna fucking apologize in real life? Fuck no. He did that shit for the fucking camera. Don't get that motherfucker fooled, you bitch. That motherfucker <laughs> crazy. Leave me alone. crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Damn, him pulled up quick as a motherfucker. That nigga don't play no motherfucker. All right, it's time to go home, y'all. I love you guys. And um, more videos coming soon. I gotta get home to my family. <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> go home just tell your husband leave me, leave me alone leave me the fuck alone okay I love y'all see y'all say bye to me oh, shit. bye bye